Hello, I'm Philip Ball. I'm very sorry that I'm unable to join the launch event tonight live, uh, but I was very pleased to be in some small way involved in the project because it touches on many issues that are close to me. In particular, the character in the play of the brain or the mini brain or the brain organoid feels very close to me because I have had such uh, an entity made myself from my own cells. And I've spoken to Elspeth about this experience. Um, and I just want to say a little bit about, first of all, about how that happened and how it is possible at all. What it involved was that researchers at uh, UCL in the lab of Professor Selina Ray, a neuroscientist at UCL, and her student Chris Lovejoy, took a few skin cells from my arm and were able to, in a Petri dish, were able to reprogram those cells into a stem cell-like state. So here are those skin cells that they took, and here they are reprogrammed as stem cells. And these stem cells can grow into any tissue type in the body. They're like, they are essentially like the cells that a very early embryo uh, possesses. And with a little bit of careful guidance, they can be grown into neurons. And here are some of my neurons that were grown from these skin cells from my arm. Um, but the neurons themselves don't just grow in a tangled mass. They already have the kind of knowledge that they need to start assembling into a brain-like structure. And this is what they do in the Petri dish. So they grow these mini brains. And here is a cross-section of my mini brain. So this was after the brain had been its... <sighs> I guess one has to say its life has been brought to an end and it was sectioned and stained so that it could be looked at under the microscope. And you can see that these cells, it's not just a random mass of cells. There are different cell types. Those are the different colours. And they have some kind of structure here. And uh, it's a structure that resembles what we see in brains. And researchers are getting better and better at making these kinds of entities, these mini brains that look more and more like real brains. At the moment, they stay very small, about the size of a, of a lentil. Uh, but nevertheless, they do have a brain-like structure. And th this is getting to a stage that I have to say, even having had this experience myself, uh, starts to look a little creepy. Just very recently, in the last few weeks, there was a report of a mini brain that had grown that had... It, it, in a sense, you could say it had eyes. What it actually had was two patches of light-sensitive cells that would, in a, a normal brain, uh, develop into the, the retina, um, which is essentially a kind of an outgrowth of our brain. Our visual system is that. Um, but, you know, you can you can really see <laughs> it looks as though here's a, an entity that is kind of looking out at us. Certainly what it does do is to open up this uh, this entity to experience from outside that the the neurons themselves uh, in a situation like this are able to receive input. And the truth is we don't really know what they do with them. And we certainly don't know and researchers don't really know what the moral status of these these organoids, these brain organoids might become. At the moment, there is no uh, clear reason to think that they're in any sense sentient, let alone able to talk like the brain in the in the play. But it's not at, at all as fantastical as you, you might imagine. And in fact, it's becoming clearly an urgent ethical issue that we, we need to have some framework for understanding what these mini brains might be like and what responsibilities we have towards them. Um, now, I want to explain how this experience came about. I didn't sort of randomly go to UCL and ask them to make me a mini brain. Um, and this is actually the, what, what, what's so nice about seeing uh, this project, uh, Silver Linings Care Plan, because it kind of brings this whole story for me full uh, circle. Because this experience came about as part of my involvement in a project funded by the Wellcome Trust for two years called Created Out of Mind, and it ran from 2016 to 2018. The project itself was motivated by, well, as, as it says uh, itself, the aim was to explore, challenge and change perceptions and understanding of dementias through science and the creative arts. And so really at the core of the project was trying to understand, not just understand dementia in a scientific sense, but also to um, 
formulate new practices, increase understanding, increase public awareness of the experience of people living with dementia and their carers. And so it feels to me as though Elspeth's play is really returning this sort of cutting edge science back to the real motivation for it. Um, for example, the reason that Selena in her lab is growing mini brains is to understand uh, dementia, to understand Alzheimer's. And the hope is that by growing these models, particularly uh, for people who have a genetic predisposition to early onset Alzheimer's, it, be it may become possible to understand what is happening developmentally and genetically in, in the brains to give rise to that disease. So fundamentally, this is research that is uh, geared towards understanding dementias and neurodegenerative disease. Create Out of Mind was interested in exploring the use of the arts, not just for public understanding and public outreach about dementia, but in particular for ways in which they could be used with people living with dementia and with their carers to explore the the nature of, of, of their experiences and really to, I think, explore questions of identity and self and the potential disintegration of those things. And I think those questions are so wonderfully explored in, in the play. Those questions are also questions that at a fundamental level seem to me to be raised by this newfound ability to reprogram ourselves and grow things like little brains from them. And, you know, this opens up astonishing possibilities in medicine, but also astonishingly difficult questions in bioethics and in really the philosophy of our sense of identity and self. So I hope the launch goes well tonight. Good luck with it, everyone. Uh, from what I've seen, you have done a fantastic job. and I wish I could have been there, but have fun.